for somebody Somebody you can call on Call on when you need it done right If you're looking for a real one So where am I? What's up, Sasquatch? What's up, Sasquatch? We are back with another video And today Today we are telling a very, 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 very special story. It is the story of the first time that Josh met my mom. We thought it would be very interesting and very cool to tell you guys this story because it's actually the beginning. The very beginning. The very beginning of us. And we wanted to let you guys in on that because you guys didn't know us back then. It was a, it was a different Josh and Sav. <laughs> and now you guys are going to finally hear the story about the first time I meet Savannah's family. All right, Sash Squad, so are you guys ready to meet my mom? I'm ready. Okay, okay, mom, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ready as I'm ever. Yeah. Yeah. We're high key matching right now. We are, look at us. <laughs> mom just waved at Dad. Everyone's sap sisters over there. Hi, Dad. Mom waves to her. You guys have kind of already seen my mom in a few of our videos. You've heard her on the phone a few times. She helped me out with a prank. I don't know. <laughs> She helped me out with two pranks. They ignore my girlfriend prank. She helped me out with that. The insane, which proposal. other prank? Proposal prank. She helped she me out helped with that. She helped me with the blood prank, remember? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so this is just the queen of helping us out. And now she's finally here. So just to recap, if you guys don't remember her name, this is my mom, Kim. And she's Hi. the best mom in the whole wide world. Woo! Hi, Sash Squad. <laughs> All right, Sash Squad. If you guys are ready for this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, subscribe. Join the Sash Squad. The Dopest squad on, on the, the internet, internet. <laughs> and we gonna get it popping. All right, guys. So I think that Josh should start out telling the story and just tell like your first thoughts of this whole thing and how it all came about. Okay. All right. So where do I start? <laughs> this was back when we first kind of started dating. Not when we first started, but last year, and it was Sav's first birthday. It was her birth first birthday together. Um, and I wanted to make it really special. I had to make it really, really special. I thought I knew her favorite artist or one of her favorite artists on the non-country side was <laughs> Chris Brown. So I was like, huh, okay, Chris Brown is going on tour. This would be so dope if I got Sav some Chris Brown tickets. So I went through that whole process. I was like, okay, Chris Brown tickets, floor seats. I was like, this is the first birthday gift. So I gotta like, you know, empty out my bank account for her on this one. I get the tickets, I'm looking at the tickets and I'm like, this would be more dope if we did it in Portland where she's from, her hometown. And I was like, oh my God, this girl will love me forever if I give her Chris Brown tickets in her home state. So as all of this is going down, I didn't realize that I've actually never been to Portland, which actually means I've actually never met her family. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is turning into something totally different. I got a Chris Brown ticket, it's awesome. She's gonna love me, but I gave me the mom. Gotta meet her dad, gotta meet her sister, gotta meet her entire family. Oh wait, Josh, you wanna, you wanna rethink this? So this just turned into something really crazy and my mind was jo was just going, <laughs> was just going crazy. That's just and going. Mixed. Yeah, yeah, that happens. Okay. Yeah. But it was just going crazy and I honestly didn't know what to think. Were you nervous? I feel like you were nervous. You didn't show I don't show know it. if I was nervous, but I wasn't yes, nervous. No, I wasn't because this is why. Me and Sav's mom, we've been on FaceTime before. Like I've talked to Sav's mom and like before. I've That's talked true. to her family before on FaceTime, so I was kind of warmed up to it. But <laughs> I don't know. I was slightly nervous. Yeah. Just like butterflies, but good butterflies. You're just like anxious, excited. That's the word. The day that I actually found out about this whole entire plan, remember I was kind of having a bad day. This and is very true. I remember, I don't know what happened. I she was being a little brat. No. I remember now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you were being a little baby just the entire day. I was having just an emotional patty day. Yeah, she was. And I was like, this will be perfect to, you know, announce that she's getting tickets. So we went to Cold Stone just randomly. Josh was like, well, come on, let's go get ice cream. It's fine. You're fine. So we're just sitting outside at Cold Stone. We, I think we had just finished eating our ice cream and Josh was like, hey, can you check your email? So I was kind of confused. But I was like, whatever. So I checked my email and it was a ticket, like an e-ticket. Right? That was mm -hmm. called. Ticketmaster? Ticketmaster? Okay, yeah. <laughs> whatever. It was an email from Ticketmaster, and I was like, huh? I clicked it, and it said Chris Brown tickets, or something, whatever it said. Uh -huh. And I was like, what? I, and it's crazy because Josh and I were obviously super, super close back then, too. But this was the first huge thing you've ever done for me, or kind of like surprised at all. So when I opened the tickets and realized what it was, I was nervous, kind of, nervous. for some reason. Not nervous, but. 
I didn't know how to show how happy I was, and I didn't want to seem too like excited. You could have. I don't know. <laughs> I would have felt a little better. <laughs> I was just like, what? I was mostly in shock. I was just, I opened it and I was like, I was like, what? Uh huh. I just remember recording him on my Instagram story, and I was like, why'd you do this? <laughs> I was like, why would you do that for me? So I was already freaking out because Josh just surprised me with not only Chris Brown tickets, but floor seats to Chris Brown, who's my favorite artist. I was freaking out, and then I saw the location, and it was at the Rose Garden, which is in Portland, for those of you that don't know. I was at the Moda Center. It's the same thing. <laughs> I think, right? I think they renamed it Moda Center. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Anyways, I saw the location, I knew that that was in Portland, and I was like, whoa, okay, cool, we're going to Portland, fun. It, but it didn't hit me that we were going to Portland together, and he was gonna meet my entire family, and it, it was like happening. Then when I realized it was Chris Brown in Portland, he's meeting my family, I was really overwhelmed, but also excited. And so the first thing I had to do, obviously, was call my mom, because I was just freaking out, and I was like, mom, guess what Josh did? So what did, what did you think, mom, when I called you? Or like what, what were you, yeah. Well I could tell you were really excited, but I didn't know what because you guys kept asking me, like get, you said, guess what Josh just did? Guess what he did? What? Guess what we're doing or something like that? And I'm like, I don't know. And, and so I think I guessed a few things, but I know that I did say, are you guys getting engaged? <laughs> First of all, she hasn't even met any, like, Did you actually think I was going to propose without meeting, without meeting you guys? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was asking you, like, it was like, keep guessing, keep guessing, and you're like, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, and finally you're like, you guys are getting engaged. And I was like, mom. <laughs> like, the fact that she actually thought that Josh would propose to me without ever meeting anyone. So eventually, I made her keep guessing all these things, and she couldn't get it, and then, so I had to tell you. And what did you think when I eventually told you? Well, the first thing I was thought is, wow, they're coming to Portland. She's coming back. She was just here. Uh -huh. And that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> so, um, and I was excited to meet Josh in person. I'd mm -hmm. met him on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Savannah talked about him so much. I just felt like he was already part of the family. Aww. <laughs> I wrote that on. So Savannah had never really had a serious relationship or she'd never like brought a boy home and said, here's my boyfriend or <laughs> anything like that. I was a little nervous in a sense because it's like, you know, what if he thinks we're weird? Because we're a crazy family. We're pretty crazy. He does think we're weird. And we're not like this normal little run of the mill, happy little family, you know. Um, so anyway, but it was exciting because, you know, I was going to get to meet him in person. And I knew how important he was to her. Ah. Ah. So fast forward all the way to May. This was before your birthday. Before birthday. Sad's birthday is May 20th. We weren't here May 20th. It was a week before because Chris mm -hmm. Brown was like a, here a week before. We get here. Sad's mom picks, up, picks us up from the airport. Heart low key kind of racing. I'm <laughs> like, this is great. They hug. They have their moment, you know. Bah, Sad's home. And I'm like, Alright, it's my turn. <laughs> I get to I get to like finally meet Sad's mom. And then we hug and it literally felt like I was already home. Like it just felt like Aww. home. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's so cute. It just felt like home and it just felt perfect. Then we just we drive to Sav's house. We ride it, we're riding and listening to music, chilling, everyone's talking. It's just really good. Good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Oh. Good vibes. Oh. So then I get home and I know Sav has an older sister and I love Destiny, but when I first met her, I was scared. <laughs> when I first when I first got here, Sav's Sav sister's name is Des, by the way. We call her Destiny, Destiny. I get here and I meet Destiny. And I remember being up in Sav's room, her old room or whatever, and Destiny, we're all talking. I think mom was in the room too. Yeah, we were all was. talking. And Destiny is just staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> like she hasn't really said that much yet. She's just kind of like She's just staring trying to at figure me. you out. And I feel like one of the first things I had a hat on, one of the first things she ever said to me was, can you take your hat off? Yeah, she's like, I need to see you. I need, I need to see you, I need to see you. I'm like, whoa, can we can I get to know you first? I wanna see my hair. <laughs> it was crazy, but that literally like solidified like our relationship. She's just like so close. She's another sister to me and it was, it was just insane. It was, it was easy. Yeah. It wasn't hard at all. I keep saying I was nervous, but I wasn't, as nervous. They made me feel at home. And it was just the best. It's mm -hmm. awesome just to come to a whole different state. I've only been to Portland maybe once before I met Sav and I actually didn't do anything, but I come here and I meet my girlfriend's family and they're all warm and accepting me and it's crazy. I just can't <laughs> stop talking about it. So then of course like Josh is already he's not overwhelmed, but you know, and so you're already it's meeting lot, all these people, mom, sister, everyone that's super important to me. And so I wanted to make sure that he met my cousin 
and her babies and my aunt and uncle and everyone so we all went to dinner that night and at this moment I'm like okay everyone slow down because everyone I mean not her whole entire family but the really important people in her family were all at dinner and I'm like I just met her mom just met her sister now I'm meeting aunts uh, kids little kids cousins and I'm like whoa <laughs> Chill. I can't I can't take it. Yeah, the dinner was kind of crazy in a sense because he got to see all of our colorful family members and um, But he just fit right in. I mean literally I think he was calling me mom right from the beginning I was we see you guys comment that all the time. Where did that come from? Like I always call her mom I don't know where it came it just from. Happened. It just, was just natural. I just feel like Sad mom, she's my mom as well. She treats me just like her son. What's also crazy is the fact that when I started to call mom, mom, they started to come up with nicknames for me. <laughs> um, this is actually where Pooter originated. Sav's sister started calling me Pooter. So when we, me and Sav say Pooter, that's where that came from. And then also Joshy. She doesn't say it on the channel, but they call me Joshy. My every whole time. family. Everyone, Joshy. just Joshy. Where's Joshy? Joshy, Joshy, Joshy. <laughs> I'm like, no one has ever called me Joshy ever. So I'm Joshy. Sad family. This whole thing was so exciting and overwhelming and made me nervous. I didn't know mm -hmm, what to feel, mm -hmm. but thinking back on it, it was the most perfect trip ever. Like everything mm -hmm. went so perfectly. And it's he crazy in... to see that it's been a year. I know. It's been a full year. It's yeah. Jesus. A full year since the first time he came here. Mm -hmm. And then now we've been back probably like six times, six <laughs> or seven <laughs> times. Mom's been to LA. To visit us. It's yeah. Insane. It's funny to share this super, super special story with you guys because for those of you that don't know, my mom is a huge part of my life. She always has been best friend, everything. So like my boyfriend meeting her for the first time was insane. We knew the Sash Squad would love to meet her and we wanted to bring you guys to her. Right. Here I am. Okay. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, do it again. All right, Sash Squad, before we go though, y'all know we do have to do a Sash Squad shout out though. Who does our shout out go to today, baby? I think Mom should tell them Sash Squad. Okay, shout -out. Mom. Yes, okay. Mom does the Sash Squad shout out. Who does it go to today, Mom? Today's shout out goes to Ruthology Fitness. Hey, shout out to Woo! you, Ruth. Her name is probably Ruth. Yeah, probably yeah. Ruth. Shout out to you, Ruth. Thank you for rocking with the Sash Squad. We rock with you. Because you rock with us. Hey! I gotta do it right. Yo, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is hit us up on our IG, hit us up on Twitter. Uh, no, we can't. We can't. Okay. Okay. You wanna do it again? We can no. do it again. We're gonna no, do it we again. do this or something. <laughs> hit us up on IG, hit us up on Twitter, comment down below when you have done that. Subscribe to the Sash Squad and we will shout you out. Alright, Sash Squad, we love you guys. Woo! Love you, mom. Love you guys! Woo! Okay! Mom, Yay! do the thing. You gotta do the, the thing. Cover, do the cover. cover it up.